bad monkey. Yes, that's right, folks. Apple TV is back this year if another one of their like movie stars coming to do a streaming show where they're a detective or something. We had Sugar earlier in the year from Apple. Now we have Bad Monkey, another thing that's based off of a book that Apple's like, we could just adapt this. Like no one bought that, no one bought the rights to that, so let's just do it. And they did. And it's been pretty good. I had a good time with this show. I, I mean, it is really easy to get me to like your thing. You set it in like the Florida Keys. That's interesting to me. Apple has done some pretty good stuff with like their digital cinematography where it looks better than other stuff. And I am a fan of Vince Vaughn. I'll say it. I like Vince Vaughn. I think he's a talented guy. And it's been a minute since we got to see him headline something exciting. He is one of those actors where they don't make the movies they're a part of anymore. So he has to do something like this, which isn't a negative. Like this is a good role to get. If it was in a different era of television and things were just like more frequently like consumed, it'd be a little more interesting than it being this Apple TV flavor of the week. But he does good. He's really good in a show like this. I really like him, okay? I'm sorry. He's really fun and talented and just knows how to deliver this. You just have to be a sarcastic detective who is charming to ladies. Maybe isn't like the smartest guy in every room, but isn't the least capable. He just has to show up and be talented. And that's something Vince Vaughn can do because he's really good at that. I say he's giving some Cary Grant vibes in here. I don't know if anyone's going to agree with me on that, but some of the things he's doing just with like the terms of like talking about himself, but delivering lines that are a little arrogant. It is Cary Grant and I appreciate it so much. He is playing this detective named Andrew Yancey. Something he does with one of like the people he's having an affair with leads him to no longer being a detective, but a case starts to like reveal itself after like a, a hand is found and that leads him to going on this secret investigation and everything about that's going to unravel and the secrets and everything going on involved with it. A classic detective story set in a really fun location where everyone's like, you know, swimming or on the beach or wearing Hawaiian shirts, which is like my favorite vibe. And it's just sarcastic and bright. It's like a bubbly little show where everyone's just cracking jokes and drinking a lemonade. That's really cool. I like that energy, you know? If we're going to do something in, in you know, Key West, let's have fun. Let's let, let's let it be interesting. We go, like, across the waters, too, to, like, you know, maybe things a little more down south as well. So it's just all about, like, that shoreline. It's really exciting. And it goes into some different directions. And every time you're watching an episode, it's like, yeah, this is, like, classic television we're all having fun here we're all engaging in what's being presented to us it's really well handled it's paced really well it's paced kind of sarcastically where every time you start a new episode like the voiceover like really it's been like a week you need a recap for what just happened okay i guess i'll tell you that's kind of fun when every aspect of the show is having fun with it that gets me excited everyone is just fully aware of what we are making it is going to be a stripped down noir story but it's gonna be set with like a jimmy buffett song energy which is cool like that's a fun thing to play with and to experience so i can't be mad at the show for doing that you know i never read the book i'm probably not gonna read the book i feel like i say that every time we talk about like an apple tv thing but just what it's presenting here is really exciting and cool. Now, there is another kind of like lead actress in Natalie Martinez. I'm not too familiar with her work, but you are given a hard role to play. You have to be like as smart and as quippy as Vince Vaughn. And she handles herself really well. I really like what they let her do, what she gets to do. It is a role that slowly builds over the course of the show where she starts off not as like the central figure and then starts to like infect and like become a part of our journey she's really cool really talented in this i really appreciate that we also have ronald pete in here he plays neville who is kind of like the b story we see like earlier on eventually it's gonna like connect to like the main plot of course but he's like when we cut away from the stuff like meanwhile here's what neville was doing i like that you know it's a really fun energy it, it keeps it more loose it gives us somebody else to root for. Not that we couldn't spend like the whole time with Vince Vaughn's character doing stuff. I'm sure we could. But cutting away over here, it gives us something else to 
latch onto and play with and have the story like flow in a different way. Again, it keeps it very loose, keeps it very energetic in a really fun way. Also, Michelle Monaghan is in here for a little bit, which you're like, why? Like this, this is the one where I'm like, okay. As it starts, you're like, this is a silly performance. You're just in a bikini hitting on people. And then eventually that kind of just becomes your character. <laughs> and it's like, okay, that's, that's fun. Weird, weird that you signed up for this though. Cause I feel like Michelle Monaghan doesn't need to do like a bit role in a streaming show. I feel like she's doing okay, <laughs> you know, but maybe she needed this. It all comes together pretty well. You know, as this mystery unravels, it goes to areas that are both expected and unexpected. But for the most part, I think it keeps you on your toes. It's not my favorite of this genre we have seen this year. I think it kind of loses its momentum or we like hold on specific scenes or characters that don't really need to have them. But I was never fully bored, never like against the show where I'm retaliating against what I'm seeing. What it's presenting is very earnest and sweet and fun and has a very specific energy. And that energy, maybe it's not going to work for you at every single turn. And that is understandable and to be expected when we do these types of shows. And that's just the nature of the era of television we're in as well. Not everything's for everybody. So when this show is just having fun with like its silly premise or Vince Vaughn just rambles on and rambles on on a joke or an idea for a long time, that could be off-putting. But it works, and he gets to present in a way he hasn't got to present in a while, and that almost makes it all worth it. Just seeing this talented guy get the chance to be talented in a show like this. I hope it finds its audience, but because there's just so much stuff all the time, and none of it's properly promoted, you never know what's going to be the one to stick around or stay. But as far as I'm concerned, these 10 episodes were enjoyable. They had a really good beat to them, really good vibe. They looked really good. I like the choice of just textures for everything around the world. And I like the choice of just letting a guy be a silly, sarcastic guy. Not that that's something we don't see anymore, but it's rare we get to see it executed this flawlessly. A very talented, interesting show. I would recommend it if for the very least you're watching this talented actor lead something and it's awesome to see that I like Vince Vaughn I want him to do more stuff and Bad Monkey is a really good place for him to show off his feats also Zach Braff is in here for a bit if you like that <laughs> and Rob Delaney like a very interesting role for Rob Delaney kind of playing like a, a, a less funny performance so that's cool so bad monkey i am going to give a seven out of ten now thank you all for watching this review be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as always you can check me out on instagram tiktok and twitter and of course i will catch you in the next one have fun stay safe good luck